Good morning, ladies and gents. Today we're going to talk about one of the bugs that can actually destroy this wipe's economy and uh, it's uh, duping items. So, what is duping? Duping is uh, basically multiplying the amount of items you have without actually looting them, buying them, or doing whatever. So, let's say you have uh, one bolt, you do something, then you have two bolts, then you do something, then you have four bolts, basically getting items um, out of nowhere and just multiplying uh, their amount. So, um, let's, I have a small history of duping this wipe for you. I think everything started in PvE. Um, after BSG introduced a new patch for PvE when uh, you were able to run the game locally uh, without actually connecting to their server, it's, uh, it's run on your PC. Um, you get an iterate faster, you don't need to mesh make, all of that stuff. So, since the game is run locally on your PC, some of the people were able to modify in-game files and actually dupe items in PvE. After that, they would extract from the raid and sell those items on the flea. Um, that's not really a huge thing, because PvE isn't as competitive as PvP. Uh, even though that's still, I would consider that 100% cheating. It's modifying game files, it's not supposed to be like that. Um, but it was in PvE, nobody really cared too much. Whatever. So, the next thing which happened. Some of the cheaters were able to modify the game one way or another using their cheats and uh, loot a quest item, Red Ledex. Red Ledex comes from the quality um, standard. It's a quest that asks you to find a uh, Red Ledex on labs. You end it in, you do the quest. For whatever reason, you were able to sell this Ledex um, to the therapist for the usual price of 600k and uh, cheaters using their cheats were able to dupe it in the raid and extract with uh, multiple, multiple edixes and sell them to the therapist and make rubles. That was fixed uh, pretty fast by disabling the ability to sell uh, quest items and um, that was over. And now there is a new thing. The problem with the thing that is happening right now is that, that the flea market can be flooded by different items. For example, you can see this guy, Squeaky, Mr. Squeaky, selling a bunch of bolts uh, he's got a lot of offers. He sells the, he sells them in two sixty um, stacks, even though he's selling them one by one. And he's got like what one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, um, eight, nine. Like I'm not gonna go through all of them, but he's selling plenty of bolts, man. Like we're talking about millions, maybe hundreds of millions um, in rubles. So if we take one of those one of those stacks, let's use a calculator real quick. Um, two sixty. To 60 multiplied by 32,000. That is 8 million he's making from like per stack. And if he's selling like 10 of those stacks, let's say right now, that's like 80 mil. So he's literally sitting on hundreds of millions of rubles. Um, in the grand uh, scheme of things, that's not too bad. 80 million rubles in Tarkov economy is like nothing. But the problem is um, that he is not a cheater. There is a way to dupe items. Um, without downloading any cheats, is just doing some in-game actions and uh, duping the items. And the problem is that everybody can do it and um, I don't think anybody will get punished for it. So if a lot of people do it, there will be a big flood of different items. For example, another one which I've seen is um, M85601. There we go. There's a guy called Azora High selling 15k of them per um, per trade. And there was there was more people, but there's less now. But like you can see plenty of people selling 20,000 bullets each. And that's that's a lot of rubles. If we calculate it again using um, calculator up the 16,000 rubles. Oh uh, sorry, 16,000 bullets multiplied by 1.2k. He's making 20 million per um, per selling one stack and like there is plenty of people doing this like it's literally the whole page like literally whole page people selling thousands and thousands of bullets so that's actually already a pretty big changer like let's say we multiply it by 30 that's already like half a billion rubles <laughs> Dude, things are starting to you know make a difference so what is the conclusion um i don't know but if people can uh, dupe not only bullets and small findable items, if they can dupe platexes and expensive items, uh, we're done. 
because uh, people will be able to buy literally every single thing on the flea and just delete it because they're going to have an unlimited amount of rubles and uh, it's going to destroy the flea. I remember a small story. A um, long time ago, maybe five, maybe six years ago, maybe like four, um, there was a interesting guy that um, was able to use flea market. He was level one. He was definitely cheating one way or another. I'm not sure what he'd done. But the guy was level 1 and um, he was buying items on the flea market. The problem is he was focusing on lab key cards. I think he was just like trolling or memeing. Um, but as you know, there are entry... Did they misspell? Oh, it's not... Never mind. Um, there are entry key cards for labs. And uh, he would buy those from the flea. Generally speaking, you need to be level 15 to use the flea. He was level 1 and he was still um, able to use the flea. He would buy every single key card, And um, at the end of the list, there was literally no key cards left on the flea. People would list lab key cards for like 10 million, 20 million, 50 million, 100 million rubles. And the guy would just buy them nonstop. Um, I think I'm guilty of selling the key cards myself. I think I've sold 2 or 3 labs entry key cards for like 10 million each. And he just bought all of it. So somehow he managed to get access to... Unlimited, unlimited rules in the game, and he would just buy all the key cards nonstop. And uh, yeah, Labs economy was ruined for the day or two because like key cards were bought out, and they would stay like one, maybe two million um, per key card after he got banned. And the thing is, he was alone, he was solo. But right now, a lot of people are duping items, and uh, that can lead to something bad. So I'm not really gonna discuss the economics with you too much of what can happen. Um, but yeah, I guess we're gonna wait and see if uh, BSG fix it, if they don't, if economy is gonna become ruined. But I just wanted to make sure that you stay updated, uh, that you, I mean, you can check, you can check the flea offers by yourself. Um, and for whatever reason, I cannot check the profiles. I know my game is bugged, I've uh, cleaned the cache, I've uh, done the file check, I cannot check anybody's profile. Like even if I go to my friends list, I cannot check their profiles, like the, the button is just removed for me, I don't know why. Either way, um, give this video a thumbs up, share your thoughts down in the comments below. Uh, if you want to share it with your friends, share this video with your friends, I would appreciate that. And I will see you in the next video. Have a wonderful rest of your day. And uh, yeah, stay updated. See you soon.